Hey guys, my man 55 here, and today we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be playing this Minecraft Classic Survival. Yeah, remember that one video I made uh, like 27 years ago? Well, um, that's gone. It's somewhere. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna like try to restart that, but this time it's gonna be a lot better. First, it's gonna have 30 frames or 30 smooth frames per second. Second, it's going to have Sonic Ather's Unbelievable Shaders 10.1 with Motion Blur. Three, it's going to have Optifine. It is amazing. Oh, and finally, it is at 720p. As you can see, I think my mouse is hidden, but whatever. So, let's... That was the world I did for my previous video. Do, do... I'm gonna delete all of these. I don't want them. I don't need them. All right, let's create a new world. It'll be survival. Let's call it YouTube, uh, YouTube Shader Survival. That's not sur that's not how you spell survival. I'm pretty sure. That's obviously gonna be survival mode. World type. Now I want to try to keep it at a low um, thing. Like I don't want it to be amplified. Because I've only tested Minecraft, uh, I only tested the gameplay on default worlds. <clears throat> I haven't tested it exactly on anything advanced or anything more powerful, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Cheats, we're gonna have cheats on. We're gonna have a bonus chest. I know that's kind of newbie of me, but uh, I happen to die a lot. All right, let's create it. So anyway, let's just grab this stuff that came in our bonus chest, and we'll take the chest with us. Because, you know, it's just a cute little gift they left, was the chest also. Okay, so as you can see, we got Sonic Ethers, Unbelievable Shaders with Motion Blur, and since we're running at only 30 frames per second, the Motion Blur is more obvious. But it's not as smooth, you know? Anyway, guys, hopefully I'm going to get sponsored by somebody. I'm hoping Machinima and everything. I can actually make Machinimas with um, a mod. I can't. It's called Freeze Cam. And it's basically what people use to make those videos like Exploding TNT's Freeze Cam mod. And everything like that. So we're just collecting some wood. Our frame rate isn't dipping, which is good. But it's only at 30 frames a, a second, so once again. That's the thing that kind of sucks about shaders, is that if you run them anything or anywhere lower than 60 frames per second, maybe 50, then they um, they get really not that smooth anymore. They just seem... Like, they still look nice. And looking at it without moving looks, looks pretty nice. But then when you start moving around, you start walking and everything, you can tell the big difference between... 30 and 60 frames. You okay, pig? You look so delicious. I want, I want to eat your ham. Hey, can I see your butt, please? Uh, no, come here. Uh, come here. I, I, I want to. Uh. Okay, that's just creepy. All right, let's kill you for. Food. That's the thing I don't like about the shaders mod, is that first there's something wrong with the attacking, where you don't see the red. I mean, I guess that kind of is realistic, but not exactly practical, because you can't even tell if you hit them or not half the time. And it makes it also makes it a little harder, because once they glow, it's easier to see them at night, and you can attack them better. You know what I mean? Anyway, we have a bunch of crap here. Uh, we got a ton of wood. I'm so sorry. I, that pun, pun sort of not intended. But, uh, we're going to do that. Yay, we got wood. I just earned the achievement taking inventory. Wait, whose inventory did I take? Oh, that means opening it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an idiot. Anyway, so... Whee! Ow. Anyway, I want to add
add just a couple mods to make this look kind of cool. I mean, th I know this is classic survival, but I, I, I wanted to add mods that don't necessarily change your gameplay. It just makes everything look better. Like shaders, Optifine, Blood and Gore mod. <laughs> but that Blood and Gore mod will actually be helpful because uh, it actually... I actually heard that the Blood and Gore mod looks awesome in the Seuss shaders. So, yeah. Oh, I'm running low on food. I gotta cook stuff. Uh, let's use the, wo the wooden axes nobody ever uses. And let's dig down. Let's dig straight down. Oh, you're not gonna hit lava. Uh-oh. It's okay. I've got wood. I know, I should have used the dirt. But you know what? I have such an excess of wood. That I'm fine. Oh my god, there's water over here. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, they uh, updated 10.1 to where those lines aren't visible anymore. Remember those lines that were in for the chunks? Uh, remember that? If you know what I'm talking about. Those lines are gone now. Which is kind of Look at that water. It looks beautiful. Ow. Here is lava. Oh, I finally got wood. The proper way. <laughs> I'm so dumb, I know. Oh, it means you have to break down a tree without having it already in your inventory. So put when I grabbed it from the chest, okay, I get it. And then I turned all the wood into planks, so then I, okay, I get it. I'm sorry if this is kind of a boring commentary, but I'm just kind of just going around trying to survive. I'm not sort of, I'm like hungry. I'm starving. I can eat your brain. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, what happened? And we're back. Uh, it crashed. Apparently my uh, graphics card driver crashed for a second and everything froze and wouldn't unfroze. And here's the sucky part. My autosave is set to uh, every like three minutes or something like that. So I probably just lost a bunch of that. But I should still have... Oh no! I came back to where I was. Oh, maybe when it detects a crash or something it automatically saves. I don't know. In fact, let me go check that. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, my video card just hates me. Uh, the AMD driver keeps uh, crashing and then turning back on, causing my gameplay to freeze and everything. And when that freezes, Fraps doesn't work, you know? So, um, I can't, or that's, I guess that could be the end of the episode. But um, I have been running my computer all day. I don't doubt that it's not doing what it needs to be doing. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And if you did, don't forget to squish that like button until you hear that little itty bitty click that lets you know, hey, it's clicked. And I'll see you, my compadre amigos, in the next video. Wait. We forgot something. Also, make sure you check out my website at mightyman55.blogspot.com and make sure to also visit bloopergamingstudios.blogspot.com. Check, uh, check that out. You can see my videos and the members of Blooper Gaming Studios. And you can also email me if you want to be a member of Blooper Gaming Studios and get free advertisement, website, etc. Anyway, now it's the end of the video. Goodbye, everybody.